I'm Fritz Nelson here at CES 2012. There are a lot of solutions here at CES to help you recharge your gadgets and devices, but we've found one here at Powertrek that actually uses water. I'm here with Graham Essery, who is the Director of New Products at Industrial Revolution, which is the North American distributor for Powertrek. And um, so you guys use water to recharge, but this is not really for people who travel and stay in hotels, right? Yeah, I mean, we use water, any kind of, we actually we use H2O. So um, any form of H2O, like salt water that has the alkaline you know, formulations behind the H2O, all that's good. You know, you can use Gatorade, beer, uh, other stuff works fine in a, in a pinch. Is there water in your urine? Uh, yes, sir, there is, and I, I have Because it could literally it. save your life. Yes, it could, yeah, okay. it's, it's, that's, that's, but you wouldn't do that in a hotel room, right? And so this, I, I wouldn't <laughs> use urine in a hotel room, no. No, so this is a device that's meant to be used off the grid. If you've got access to 120 volt power, you probably don't need a fuel cell to charge your iPhone. Um, but if you, you know, for emergency situations, or if you're out for three, four, five days, backpacking, kayaking, shooting in the Amazon, you know, this is a really powerful solution for people who need power, you know, instantly or, or within 30 seconds of applying that uh, H2O that we just talked about. Or right, let's take a look. Okay, so the basic system, uh, it's sort of a two-part system. Over here, you've got a water chamber where we need eight milliliters of water, a little more than a tablespoon of water that goes in here. As you close the lid, it actually pressurizes the water. And when I put this can in, uh, that water comes out through this pin into a sprinkler system so that it irrigates a chemical inside the can. The chemical is called sodium silicide. And sodium silicide, uh, well, I think of it as a, you know, an industrial strength desiccant. What it wants to do is rip the oxygen out of that H2O that we talked about and form uh, a much more inert mineral called sodium silicate, which is uh, a mineral, believe it or not, that we put in our mouth every day. It's the polishing agent in toothpaste. So uh, we make toothpaste over here in this can and we release hydrogen. The hydrogen uh, passes through the fuel cell via this port here. The fuel cell is, uh, it looks like a couple of stainless steel plates and a very high-tech membrane between the plates. And as you, as you force the hydrogen through the membrane, it creates electricity. It creates, uh, this fuel cell creates two and a half watts of electricity. And so, I mean, at, at five volts, that's more than most USB-powered devices need, uh, which is both a positive and a negative. The positive is that um, because we have ample power available, the effect is uh, just like plugging into a wall plug. Your iPhone, if it takes two hours to charge, it takes two hours to charge in this. If you have a device that charges in an hour on the wall plug, you get it in an hour with this device. So it's instant power anywhere. And, and what's ha what happens with the rest of the, of the uh, energy? Okay, yeah, right. So two and a half watts for this GoPro camera is more than the GoPro battery needs. So the remainder of that battery, or the remainder of that energy goes to a lithium battery here. So there's a, another battery that acts as a battery backup. You can see I'm actually charging this even though I don't have the fuel cell unit uh, connected. Um, and so this battery is, is about the, it's a 1590 milliamp hour battery. It's a, a, a slightly larger than the battery in your iPhone, for instance. Okay, and, and it, there's USB, and right. on the other side, it looks like that's a little adapter. Right, the kit comes with iGo's basic USB connectivity kit. So you have a USB cable, and you have tips for a USB mini, uh, which would be you know, what we're using here for GoPro or for a lot of GPS devices, for instance. You have USB Micro, which is a common Android phone standard uh, tip, and then you have the Apple 30-pin tip. Reach over here. This is the, yeah. This is the 30-pin uh, standard iPhone right. connector. And all that comes in a box like this. Okay, and what's the price of this? So these are going to be available first in outdoor specialty places like REI, and the price there will be $229 for that basic kit. So that, that's all of this comes with one of these pucks? So no, that's the, that is the fuel cell and battery backup unit. The pucks, which are the hydrogen cartridges essentially, these cost 
oh, they'll be three or four dollars at retail, um, and they'll be available in packs of three to start. Okay, so that's obviously um, a little bit pricey, but the idea here is this is not a replacement for something you would use in a hotel, as you said earlier. This is for those people who are out, you know off the grid, mm -hmm. um, out of touch with standard electricity, and. Um, and seems to be a, a pretty uh, portable solution. What does it weigh? Uh, weighs about a half a pound, 8.6 ounces all in. Um, but I want to respond to the price thing because I, I think that if you compare you know, one of these hydrogen cartridges at $3 to the AA battery equivalent, if you were charging your device with AA batteries, say, um, it might take, depending on the device, between you know four or six or as much as 12 AA batteries to have the same power capacity as this at two and a half watts. And that is uh, recyclable? This is recyclable. It's an aluminum can. Um, it's also refillable. If we can get them back to our factory, we can refill these and reuse them. And, and so it's a neat solution. You and could take them back to REI right, and they REI could... REI will have a drop box where they'll return them. Um, and how much do those cost? These are, like I say, you know, $3 to $4, depending on where you buy them and what the pack size will be. Great. Graham, thank you so much. Oh, thank you.